Hey guys, Yannick here for Yannick Photo School, and we're back in Lightroom today. And I'm going to be showing you today how to add a photo frame, a virtual frame, on your image in Lightroom, which is great. You don't have to go into Photoshop for that. It can be done in Photoshop, and I'll probably show you that in another tutorial. But it can also be done in Lightroom, and you can actually add a black or a white. Uh, photo frame here in Lightroom. You can't add a colored one, but at least you can go with black or white, which are pretty much standard. Now, um, you're probably wondering how we do that. Now, first things first, you need to be in your develop module. That's really, really important. So we need to be in there. And then once you're in there, you scroll down, go to your vignettes box right here. Um, if you don't have it open, if it's closed like this, just click on the small arrow here and it'll open it up for you. Now once you have your vignettes uh, box open, we want to go to the post crop section right here, the four sliders uh, below the lens correction. So we have amount, midpoint, roundness, and feather. Now the best way to show you this, I mean, if, you, if you've if you used Lightroom before, you've probably used post crop. Uh, uh, vignetting just to add a little uh, uh, kind of like a lens uh, correction to your image to darken it up a little bit so you would move the slider a little bit like this and then you know control your midpoint and go okay this is good I'm gonna save my image like that but never really playing with the other two I know that I usually use those first two sliders most of the time and and uh, that was it and uh, then I started playing around with it and uh, I found out that I could actually put a frame around my image. So let's move the last three sliders, the feather, the roundness, and the midpoint all the way to the left. Now the amount is basically uh, choosing between black or white. If you move the amount slider on the uh, right side, you're gonna get white. And if you move it to the other side, you get black. What's really cool about this too, you saw in between, I'm getting some transparency in there. If I zoom in right here, you can see some transparency happening, which can be a pretty cool um, effect for your, your photo frame. The same thing on the white. You can see, depending on how much I put in, you get that transparency in there, which could be pretty cool as well. All right, if I double click on the name, it brings it back to zero. All right, so let's go on the black side because this image seems to be more for black frames than anything else. Let me bring it all the way there. So right now I could, I would be pretty happy with that frame because it's nice, it's small. Um, and of course, since we're in vignettes, you won't have a square frame. You'll always have this rounded corner in there, which I like pretty much. And if you zoom in on that, you can see that it's a pretty good quality roundness too. It's not jagged, um, so it's uh, very printable. All right, now what we can do is play with our midpoint. And as you can see, the midpoint will bring it out a little bit. You can actually make it disappear completely. So usually I don't really play with the midpoint that much for now. I will play with it after playing around with the roundness. Now the roundness will, it, it tells you, it just rounds those corners even more and more and more until you get a full circle. It, that could work on some images and if you zoom in on that you can see there's a bit of a uh, of a haze in there. It's not like a really really crisp uh, circle, but it's not jagged either, so that is still printable. All right, now let me bring that back down to about this. Let's say I like this, this type of roundness. Then I can play with my midpoint and zoom it out, and that way I get a nice thick roundness here, but a thin border all the way around. So you can play with those three sliders. Now, of course, you could add some feathering in there as much or as little as you want to create those those effects. If you add more roundness to it, you get more feather, which is what we're used to as well. And You can play with the midpoint here as well. We could go all the way out and do it with white as well. Bring that midpoint in a little bit. And we could have the same dreamy effect, which could work on many other images. But if you want a nice straight uh, frame, you bring that feather all the way back. Uh, you can 
bring the roundness back, bring the midpoint all the way. That's the kind of frame that I would like. Nice, thin, and sophisticated. And that's easy. That's, that's, that's all you need to do to, to get a, a frame uh, in Lightroom. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial on adding frames to your images in Lightroom. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out. See you next time. Bye-bye.